All right, here we are for another update from Calvary Chapel of the Coastlands. It's March 31st. Just wanted to start off with an encouraging psalm uh, before I give you some more information. It's Psalm 46. We actually went through this this morning uh, in our staff devotions. It reads, God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, Though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, Selah, there is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, and she shall not be moved. God shall help her at the break of dawn. The nations raged, the kingdoms were moved, and he uttered his voice, and the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Come behold the works of the Lord, who has made desolations in the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and he cuts the spear in two. He burns a chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. And so just know that the Lord is quite able to be our strong tower in this time of need. Well, this morning we did have our uh, staff meeting. And so obviously a lot of things to discuss. And just a, a, a few things. We did discuss uh, the Easter season. So couple of things we're thinking about doing. Um, if you were hoping to be baptized during this Easter season, and it's been a while since we've had a baptism, um, you can call the church and we will arrange a private baptism within the next two weeks. And uh, at the same time in this private baptism, we'd love to record it so that we could share it with the church on our Good Friday service. And uh, so we want to encourage you, if you desire to be baptized during this Easter season and share it with the church, we'd love to do that. And so we encourage you to contact us. Again, we're not going to try to break any rules, but uh, um, it's just great to be able to remember being baptized Easter uh, 2020. And so we encourage you to do that. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, um, and, and live stream the service uh, from here uh, with the staff that's here and at the same time what we'll do is we'll share those clips if they're available if anybody wants to be baptized during this time if not as soon as we can we'll be having our baptisms in a regular fashion so um, that is an option um, also we so we're gonna have a Good Friday service around five o'clock and we'll go ahead and stream that as usual we encourage you to go through the same pattern as you would on any Easter and then we'll also be having a sunrise service, and we're excited about that. And again, uh, this is something to encourage you to wake up early on Easter morning. You can go back to sleep or eat a bunch of breakfast or whatever it might be, and, uh, and attend at your home the Good Friday service over, over the, the internet and encourage you to do so. And then we'll have our regular Easter service as well. And again, with all these provisions of being over the um, internet. Another unique thing we have coming up is... Um, we normally have Communion Sunday on the first Sunday of the month, and uh, this coming up Sunday will be the first Sunday of the month. And so what we're asking you to do is to go ahead and get some bread, get some juice, and uh, prepare Communion. We'll remind you that Sunday morning to prepare Communion, and then we'll be able to take Communion, you in your home, or with whoever you're watching the service with, or wherever you're watching it from, to be able to celebrate Communion as a body. And uh, that will be unique, <laughs> kind of fun, but we encourage you to be thinking about that. And that will be for the, for the next Sunday. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, on Sunday, we're going to do Palm Sunday. On Wednesday night, I'll talk about the Seder dinner and how, how it relates to Jesus. It all points to Jesus himself, even as he celebrated the Seder dinner at the Last Supper. So we'll talk about that on Wednesday. And then Friday, obviously, we'll talk about the crucifixion on Good Friday. And then... Uh, Sunrise service, we'll talk about the resurrection, and then I believe uh, Easter service will be talking about the restoration and the commissioning of Peter 
uh, after he failed the Lord. And so we encourage you to, um, to look forward to that and invite uh, family and friends and certainly those that may not know the Lord during this season uh, to consider the things of the Lord uh, by tuning into our service or uh, onto uh, the radio. And so we encourage you to do that. Uh, but other than that, a few things coming up. Uh, Thursday morning, uh, several of us pastors do have a meeting uh, with Barbara Canales, our, our county judge, and we're going to talk to her about how the church can help the messaging from the government uh, to churches. Uh, we want to be a help, and we understand that this is a, a real need, and it is a real crisis. At the same time, we want to protect churches from overreach from the government. So we don't, we're not going to be rebellious, certainly when it's, it's uh, something that is a, a public need. At the same time, we do want the government to be able to communicate to the church properly, and so we want to help the county do that as well. So that's be, be uh, uh, in prayer for that, for us, that we represent the Lord uh, well uh, to our government officials as a few of us pastors do approach them. And, uh, and then I have a couple other meetings uh, scheduled with several other pastors as well that afternoon uh, from Brazil. And uh, things are crazy there. And so myself and a friend from Costa Mesa will be on a call with the pastors, the Calvary Chapel pastors from Brazil. And uh, just keep that in prayer as well as our missionaries. And so everything else is still in line. Um, we are uh, live streaming uh, this coming Sunday, again, Palm Sunday, and then um, uh, Wednesday, and then Good Friday service, uh, sunrise service and then Easter service and so you can catch all of those but we are still in lockdown keep it in prayer uh, we're not getting it near as bad it's really hard to think <laughs> we're having some beautiful days and um, that there's uh, just over 30 people that are sick confirmed with the coronavirus in our whole county and that's over 400,000 people and so for us we're definitely not feeling it but <clears throat> excuse me I would encourage you as a church just pray uh, just got out of a prayer meeting here. We had our prayer meetings, and hopefully you guys are praying with us at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. as well, and encourage you to do so more and more. Again, next Monday, I plan on having a prayer and fast day as well, and encourage you to do so. But certainly, during this time, don't waste your time. Uh, spend, some, spend extra time with the Lord. We, we actually prayed tonight for the harvest that will come after this as people consider the things of the world and the things that are unseen, uh, the things of the Lord, eternity, that, uh, that we be ready to receive the harvest that we believe the Lord wants to bring during this time. And so I encourage you guys, um, be in prayer, spend daily time with the Lord, uh, have a prayer list that you can pray for specific things. This would be a good time to get in the habit of when you say you'll pray for somebody, that you actually write it down and you do pray for them. And then the last thing is just remember to... Um, remember to reach out to those people that are on your heart. Uh, remember to give if you're able to. Um, if you want to give benevolence uh, and, and you don't want to give cash, you can give uh, HEB cards or Walmart cards, which can be used for gas or food. And uh, just be thoughtful during this time and what you can do to help others get through it. Uh, many are feeling blessed because they still have jobs and be a blessing and others are struggling uh, as they've lost their jobs and their source of income and so keep that in prayer and, and remember um, people have various different reasons why uh, they're doing certain things and just remember that what unites us is the gospel and don't let the coronavirus divide us and uh, even for pastors as we uh, need to still do spiritual service for people, um, we have to make real decisions. And it's easy to make decisions, or it's easy to, to, to project what people should and shouldn't do if you're not really making the decision. But pastors across the country are really making hard decisions. And so please don't judge uh, if they make a decision that you wouldn't make, uh, pray for them because for pastors and for certain leaders, they're having to make the decisions and, and it's real. Uh, so please don't uh, allow that to divide you. Uh, stay in prayer and just be filled with the Lord's grace through this time. And uh, 
and just pray. Sooner rather than later, we're able to meet again as a church and we're actually able to hug one another. I'm not a hugger by nature. I hug people, but I'm not a hugger. But I, I have the feeling when this is all over, I'm going to want to hug a lot of people. So <laughs> encourage you guys just to be praying that this would be ended and uh, that we step into a time of great revival. All right. Well, God bless you guys. It is March 31st. Tomorrow's April Fool's, but yeah, probably not a good time for pranks, but might throw a few. Anyways, <laughs> God bless you guys. Uh, be in good cheer. The Lord is your refuge. God bless you.